Are we witnessing real-time evolution? This panel tries to break the laws of physics through the concept of a perpetual motion machine. Many of you must have seen this toy bird at least once before. It's called the Dippy Bird and it has a fascinating design. It is rumored that this toy defeated the great Albert Einstein. It is said that he couldn't figure out how it worked even after 3 months of studying it, refusing to take it apart to maintain the mystery. Basically, it's a toy that uses heat energy to mimic a drinking bird. It's made by a straight tube attached to a head bulb. That very tube extends inside another bulb at the bottom, where there is a special liquid called methylene chloride. The latter has an extremely low boiling point, enabling high vapor pressure at room temperature. The manufacturing process is precise and complex. First, methylene chloride is introduced through a tip in the upper bulb and then frozen. After that, all the air is emptied from the bottle. And then finally, the tip is sealed and hidden by a hat. After that, methylene chloride melts and creates two separate vapors. One goes inside the tube and into the head, and the other one stays between the tube and the bottom bulb because it is separated by the liquid. To start the toy, you would have to manually tilt it first so water can wet its back. Water will then be absorbed by a fabric and then propagate around the head bulb through a capillary action. This will make the head slightly colder, creating a pressure difference between head and bottom, making it possible for the liquid to rise through the tube. As the head becomes heavier, the bird dips and when it does, the vapor in the head and in the base are connected. The pressure equalizes and the bird goes back to its original position. Vapor rises to the top, the liquid goes back down and the cycle repeats itself. As long as the head is still wet, motion will continue. As some of you must have realized, this design won't work well in humid climates, because water would barely evaporate from the fabric, thus heat won't be withdrawn from the head. Now the part you were all been waiting for, is a dippy bird a perpetual motion machine? The answer is of course no, because it relies on outside heat sources like air and water to create a temperature difference between head and base. Entropy dictates that with each sip energy dissipates further and eventually, all the liquids will completely evaporate, and thus equilibrium.